Hey friends, welcome to this video. Now here I'd like to show you a trick how you can use custom icons for your KPIs. Now you probably are familiar with the default icons, meaning if you go to, let's say, I create a new page here, and I'm using my category as an example, and then I'm displaying any kind of KPI. Let's say I'm using my uh, total sales in here. Take this option. And let's also increase the font size here so you can see that better on your screens. Go to the values and say, let's say here, 15. Okay, so far so good. Now, we know we have various formatting options for the total sales. Meaning, if you go inside your visual, and under visual, you take a look at the cell elements. Let me maybe first close this one and then open the cell elements. You can specify the series. Let's say we use the total sales. This is the second series we have. And based on the total sales, we would like to use any kind of, uh, in this case, formatting. We can play around with the background color. I can turn this on. And of course, I can customize it if I click here. Or the font color, turn this on. You can see you get different fonts, which of course can be customized here as well. Now, what else? Well, we are now interested not in the data bars, which also, just to show this to you, also quite helpful sometimes, but we are interested in the icons. So let me take icons here, and then you see you get some default icons in Power BI, which are these ones. And if you click on the conditional formatting option here, you see that you can specify various kinds of styles which are available in here. But you can also use those styles in your DAX expressions if you want to. And I'm gonna show you how because you need to know the names of those styles in order to use them. So let me just cancel this for now and also remove this here. And instead, let me show you the list which I found, which I want to share with you here, which is this one. You can see different icon names in here, and you can use those names to conditionally formatting your icons. In Power BI, this looks like that. I already imported this list, which you can download from the source section. And I also imported it here, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is it. And here are the names, and next to the names, you can see here the icons. So I visualized it here so it's easier for you to spot. And you can see exactly what is the name, and if you use this name in the DAX expression, what kind of format would you expect in here? Like that. And these are the options we have, okay? So how does this work now? Let's say we create the icons ourselves in a DAX expression. We could say for a new measure, let me right click on the measures table here and say new measure. And let's keep it simple. We just check the total sales. So let me just zoom in here, make this bigger so you can see that better. And we're using an expression like, let's say, um, DAX icon, okay? DAX icon, I call it, like that is equal to shift enter to go to new line. And then I say, I simply use the switch true function. So switch true of mute expression and say, now I want to evaluate are my total sales, go to the line here. So are my total, let me just get rid of that. Are my total sales in this case, which is our measure. Is this greater than 200,000 like that? Then I want to display, let's say in this case, then I want to see one. I just need to look up the names so we can use any kind of name in here. So single medium, circle high. Let's just check that uh, just in a minute. Let's just do it, go back in here and use the one as placeholder and say else we would like to see a two. Close this and we're basically good to go. Let's execute this. Okay, so this is our DAX icon. And of course, if I would display that icon, if I take this option, then I can see here one or two. So far so good. But now let's say, okay, I want to have the icon name. So meaning I can go back to my page one and then we can simply uh, choose one of the icons we want. So this for instance, circle symbol high, or let's use actually the arrows, right? Or is there anything else we could use where we could use stars? Um, well, I will go with the arrows. Okay, so what I need is colored arrow up and I need, in this case, there should also be down one but I don't see it here, so let's just check. Okay, then maybe use these ones. Triangle high, triangle low, okay. So let's go back to our page number two. And let's say here I'm using instead in my 
DAX icon, let me select it, and I want to use triangle high and triangle low, and because it's a string, I need to write it triangle high. And then of course here I say triangle low. Of course I need to spell it correctly, so let's check that. Uh, I think it should be right, but triangle, uh, just make sure, where is it? Uh, should be somewhere down there. Actually, where's my triangle? Traffic, traffic, it's not sorted correctly, right? Well, let's just say I spelled it correctly, okay? So let's just execute this. And then we can see, okay, it's triangle high or triangle low. And we basically can use this, the expression itself, as our KPI uh, icon. So if I could just go in here and say, I want to use, go back to my total sales. We can remove this text icon in a minute, just was for, just for demonstration purposes. But let's go back to our, where is it? Our, in this case, formatting option for the table. So I'm um, go to my formatting pane here, go to cell elements, and now I'm using icons here. And these icons will now not based on rules. Instead, I go in here and say I want to base it on a field value. And a field value is what we calculated. So if I go, of course, just one more step here, just select, of course, the total sales first. Okay, here we go. Go to icons. And now one more time, go to conditional formatting here. And then we go in here and we choose uh, the field value first. And then what is the field? And now we choose your DAX icon. Let me select it. And then of course you can specify, do you want to place it on the left or on the right side and the alignment, but let's stick for that for now and click okay. And then we see we got now the icons in here. And of course I can remove the text icon from the table that was just for demonstration. So let me just remove it, text icon. And you see that basically we got here the icons. And this is now based on the conditional formatting based on a field value in DAX. And this, of course, allows you a lot of flexibility because you can actually use any kind of DAX expression, also much more complicated than the simple one we're going to use here with only one condition, which is threshold of 200,000. But as I said, could be much more complicated and you can use any kind of icon which you want from this list. Now, the list itself, as I said, is available as an Excel file, so you can import it, of course, and then you can use any kind of option from here, okay? So that's it for this idea, this trick. So hopefully that was helpful and you learned something new. And I encourage you to try this out yourself. And as always, thanks a lot for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.